Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vantage Seminar. So this is our last talk in the series about the Teresa class and algebraic cycles. And today we're very happy to have Xu Zhang speaking about heights of homologically trivial cycles in families. And Xu, is it all right if we record this talk? Yes. Oh, wonderful. And feel free to ask questions um, during the talk. Okay, please go ahead. Okay, thank you for um, giving me this chance to speak on the Teresa cycles. And uh, I understand everybody knows the definition of Teresa cycles. Uh, there's a lot of examples. And uh, my talk today is entirely theoretical. So in particular, I don't have any example. And uh, uh, the final example in my talk is such an important thing, probably the crucial uh, business. So I will uh, try to uh, the construct. So basically, I'm going to construct some, uh, give a partition of a modular space of curves in two parts, one the open parts, one the closed parts. And uh, the, the main theorem is sure that the open part is not empty, but we have no idea how to uh, describe uh, these closed parts. So it starts with the definition of, uh, so we start with the genus G, uh, greater than two. Uh, then we have uh, the, uh, the modular space of MG, this moduli. of curves of genus G. So I will only think it as a coarse modular space of a stack. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm going to talk about height. This is over Q. Uh, then we have uh, C over G uh, over uh, MG. So this is a universal curve. And uh, um, then we have even more than that, we have the pick one uh, C over G of MG. This is a relative Picard uh, of line bundles of degree one. Okay, so, uh, so this is the main space we work on, but right now and after a while we move to MG. So if you give um, a point inside, uh, so write a pi here, um, that is a pick one of C of G and MG, then what is it we associate to uh, the Teresa cycles, as you can see. This is the Teresa cycles, I view it as a child group of G minus one of the Jacobian of C of G and MG. So, uh, so the Kasai is the best point. So basically, so first you make a, um, a make an embedding from C of G to, uh, to the Jacobian of C of G, right? The X goes to class of X minus Kasai. Oh, I, before I forget that in the old work, the all the work is the joint work. And otherwise I forget about it. With Xiang Gao. From UCLA, just to move UCLA. So we get an embedding like that. And the Teresa cycle. Um, is uh, it, it's just the difference of the image, right? This I can see here. I could see of C um, minus uh, minus one star I could see of C. So this is homologically trivial. I, it's easy to see because there uh, there's a minus one axon uh, differential forms is is a trivial. I, I mean invariant differential forms. So and so in 19, so the cycle is proposed in 1983, and in 1984, and 
the balance and the block uh, purpose. Uh, a definition um, of so called a balance block at the Karen. Of course, there are, there are proposals for every the high pairing. For algebraically, um, for algebra cycles and the homological trivial. And this, this, this pairing is conditional. So it's still conditional today. But for this case, uh, this is well defined. And at least you have two definitions for that. So well defined. The two two way to do that one is using uh, the gross shown cycle, and that's done by ninety five. Other other one is by Kuhneman. It's two thousand one, and the Kuhneman's method works for any sub varieties of the Jacobian. Anyway, so uh, so this is a different number, and they uh, what do they what do they conjecture? Uh, the balance block conjecture. Conjecture uh, is kind of positivity. So there's a height is really much behavior like narrow the height. So there's the height of uh to see to see should be non-negative and a equal zero only if c over e to c is a torsion. And, uh, and of course, you can many things. And uh, you also conjecture that this has a relation uh, with error function. Of course, I, I, I forgot to say that. And as you can see, it's, it's over Q bar. You have such a property. And uh, uh, that's a main uh, interest for myself getting to the area. And uh, uh, so this error function is a triple product function. Error series. And uh, this part is also recently just approved um, by um, myself, uh, my former students. Xing Yi, sorry, Yuan, and Wei Zhen. And myself, so this is part is okay. And uh, of course, when you prove such a formula, you always face the question: so why are your formula useful? And uh, so that's why uh, I'm getting interested in the positivity, the cycles. I hope you know if we know the cycle is positive, then we say can say something about the error function. And in general, and to study the narrow the heights, I mean the balance block heights for algebra cycle is an extremely difficult problem. Uh, the, the reason is that in a uh, in narrow the heights, when we study these heights, basically we put them uh, uh, in a Jacobian variety, right? So um so we uh, in the Jacobian variety is algebra variety. So we can put it in a projective space. And, and projective space, we have this very high dimension. And then this very high dimension can allow us to normalize the heights, get them narrow to the heights. So the narrow to the narrow the parts is, uh, is the more close to the balance and block. Ted has a part, is, uh, is, uh, is, we don't know how, how to define that part because uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, the intermediate Jacobian has, does not have any, um, uh, it's not algebraic. So this is uh, one problem. So as I just said that you have also in, in 90, uh, 1950 to 1960s, uh, V and uh, first, then uh, let on uh, the Griffiths uh, propose some definition of the intermediate Jacobian, upper Jacobian map.
for um, the cycles, say um, G minus one, uh, Jacobian uh, of C, I probably want to talk about primitive, whatever. And this one became, uh, so the intermediate Jacobian. Um, the intermediate Jacobian. This is could be written as H of Z of H of R. This H uh, is in fact quite easy to define. It's H3, H1 of C, uh, modular H1 of C uh, of one. Sorry, because uh, yes, maybe I write on. Uh, get in trouble. Uh, this is not quite correct. Let me write this in. I'm not sure. Okay, maybe write uh, one here. Put a one here, and uh... there's a question in the chat as well about whether there's um, whether this is for g equals three or more general. Yeah, for. Uh, all G uh, bigger than two, right? Uh, not G bigger than one. Mm -hmm. I mean, for all G. For all G. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I need a two G minus two. That's the only thing I care, right? So, um, yeah, okay, let me write that stuff. So I'm a bit confused. No, I'm just, I don't like my. Okay, so this is H is H of Z, H equals equals um three H one uh, C. Forget about the weights and the modular H one. So there, you have an embedding. You have the Psi. Um, you can make an embedding from H one. Okay, it's in fact the quotient space. Sorry, you have H one cross H one to a Z by uh, alternative pairing, right? So you can view this guy. So I can do that, so I will get in trouble. The kernel of this end to H1 by this pairing. Okay, so you have this end. So this, you put some complex structure here. You don't bother the same. So some complex structure, and also the uh, the the polarization. I put a comma here, so this is not a, a positive definite, of course. Uh, otherwise, right? Otherwise, this would be a abelian variety. So this is how Albert Jacobi map, defined by uh, Vey and Griffiths. And uh, so this, uh, at least this one provides a second criterion. So the first criterion, I say the balance and bluff, then before balance and bluff, you have, uh, so if X is, uh, if our Jacobian map of X is not zero, then of course the X is not zero, right? So this is a good thing. So, so we have a two criterion for this thing, but unfortunately we, we don't, we cannot really make a connection with that. So the main theorem, um, the Cian Gao and I proof, and uh, so the main theorem will be the following. Okay, first of all, when G equals two, then of course the, uh, the Teresa cycle automatically trivial. That's uh, the, because the involution uh, uh, is, can be, can be uh, expressed by, uh, uh, the canonical evolution of a hyperelliptic curve. So, in fact, uh, uh, for any in fact, this is uh, uh, for any hyperelliptic curve of this thing equals zero because the, the involution in the Jacobian can be expressed as the involution of uh, your curve. So, for this reason, we assume g equals greater than three. Right. So, the theorem will be the following. So uh, there is a non-empty 
uh, open subset or sub variety, whatever, of MG defined over Q uh, such as that the following identity hold. Okay, access number T, uh, U here. Uh, okay, and sorry. And uh, um, everything bigger than zero, C bigger than zero. Um, Okay, so that the, so remember that trying to do, remember we have this map here, the pick CG of MG, this is the universal um, Picard group, MG. So this is the pi. So you can consider the set to see um, is the N <clears throat> pick one C of G, M of G, of Q bar. Now you can see it. Uh, you want this guy, the degree of Qc. Uh, okay, this is that for any h bigger than zero, d bigger than zero, less than h. I mean, I'm okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused. Not like that. This will be next theorem. Sorry. There, the Teresa cycle of the Cassie, Teresa cycle of Cassie, this balance and block had a pairing less equal than epsilon of two heights. You can talk about it. One is the fortin heights. Uh, you have Cassie here. You get a point um, pi Cassie. Uh, okay. So, so for any Cassie, so you have a U here. The pi inverse U will be here. So we get uh, the open subsets. Okay, this theorem is about uh, a sub variety of MG. So you pull back, you get the pi one of this thing here. So Cassie inside the pi inverse of U, for anything like that, the following identity holds. So the Teresa cycle defined by this C uh, is bounded by following the heights on a base, plus some narrow heights of C minus C uh, of S, I wrote S here, for example, S will be I can see. Uh, let me rewrite the same. Maybe, maybe, maybe write same issue. I just write it equal to uh, the canonical bundle of your curve C divided by two G minus two. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, because you see we we are talking about the the device of degree one, and uh, but if your curve is uh, how of genus uh, not equal zero. And not equal zero or two, zero or one, then you have a canonical uh, bundle, which is degree two G minus two. So we can take that bundle divided by two G minus two. Uh, this is a well defined up some torsion. So now the height is, is well defined. Then, okay, we want this guy is, is positive, minus C. Okay, so, so this theorem say that, uh, the theorem is very long and there, uh, Okay, let me let me try to say say a little bit of words. The theorem says that your MG at least there is one uh, non-empty open sets. Uh, then the probat open sets over a whole Picard variety is another open set and the Picard variety. Over the Picard variety is that balance and block heights. It's a behavior like a normal heights and a projective variety. Right, this is called a not, this is an important thing. And this theorem is right away is completely useless because I never tell you what the U is. So the remark will be, the important thing will be, 
So we will. May I, may I ask you a question? Yes. Is, is the, the faulting site here, is this the stable faulting site of the Jacobian of the corresponding curve? Yes, so I'm doing lasers. In fact, you can pick up any uh, heights. On, uh, oh yeah, okay, so any, any height. I'm by modular space. space. I yeah, see, just, so they just to make it specific, okay. Uh, yeah, this this falling height doesn't play. Yeah, any I guess it doesn't. Yeah. I see. It doesn't matter because they're all bounded by constants times each yes. other. Yes. So any heights. So we will construct the whole lecture here today is not about the theorem itself. The theorem itself is very abstract and completely useless. If we don't know what the U is, we will construct explicitly. Um, uh, this U over Q. So we will give a name so the U will be, I will write letters. So meanwhile, I just give a name for the ample. So because I use the name here, so there's something to do with our kind of theory. I believe, I mean, I believe the thing we will construct is a maximum open set to make this height in quality hold. And uh, over Q here, okay, we, in, in, in the proof. So before I go to the construction, I give you uh, two uh, consequences, two corollaries. Um, I mean, the first corollary is called the North Card property. Okay, so I already write there for any H D bigger than zero, uh, the the X is inside pi inverse of this M G ample. I'm well, I'm not yet defined that. I just know this is not the empty. The, 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 the Teresa cycle of KC, Teresa cycle of KC will be less than H. Degree of KC less than D is a finite. So there's the first theorem. Uh, the second one is not a exactly corollary. So 50% uh, of people are other 50% is not. Okay, that's still, I don't want to write too much because uh, another corollary. Could you, I was confused, but when you say degree of C, I thought if C was degree one, it pick one. Oh, as a point in the, in a, in a, in a, is a variety. Oh, oh, I see. You mean, oh, you mean the degree of the residue field of that? Oh, as a closed point, you mean? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can see the line bundle. I'm not talking about degree of line bundle. I'm talking about can see uh, as a line oh, okay. bundle. As a point you mean the bond. degree of the okay the of the degree of the closed point? Okay, of, maybe, okay. I know. I write a cube up here. Maybe it's better. So this is a mistake, right? Okay. Another corollary is the following. So for any x inside uh, this uh, pi inverse. Um, MG ample is a C points, but not a Q points, not a Q bar points. And then uh, the Teresa cycle can see X is not torsion. Right? And uh, in fact, we can prove more. Um, Let me see. Um, yes, we can prove. Yeah, I mean, we can prove more than this thing. Um, let me see, how can I say? Uh, we can, we probably can say something about, about Jacobi map of C, E, C. Uh, I mean, there's a, this is a non-torsion, it's, it's just as a child group. We can, we can make even more stronger this Teresa cycle, Apple Jacobi map. It's not zero, except uh, 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 a countable subset. Okay, so this is uh, the second part. Okay, so that's the main theorem. So in any case, okay, so in any case notation we have, 
it, we have this mg, uh, right? mg is ample. So this is a, is a main simple theorem. It's a joint union of mg uh, of a given name called slim. So this is uh, open and uh, dense. So this is a close uh, defined over Q. And uh, um, the, the remaining lecture, I try to define this. And this is going to, I'm going to define this. Because I believe uh, this guy will be a very interesting thing. So I can define it. So let me try to say MG. It was, uh, is uh, defined as a priori um, a real analytic subset of MGC. I'll just give you a remark. And then and using uh, X channel Uh, then we can show that this guy is algebraic over C, then using the other Arakelov theory. You can show that MG slim is a defined of Q. So it's a very strange. So what I'm trying to say, I have no idea what kind of equation defined this so-called slim. And I don't even know which points. Of course, this, this limb contains the hyper hyperelliptic locus. This is for, for sure. The elliptic locus. And uh, beyond that, I have we have no idea. Actually, we don't know, we don't even know. I mean, maybe in a very special case, we know some points in the MG ample. I said it's, this is uh, it is non empty. Right, non empty uh, open, but in fact, even uh, say uh, one point in this variety is very hard. Uh, before they say that, this, this, this corollary, um, this corollary is also proved by, um, by, by Richard Han, I think, I think I gave a lecture. And uh, another group is by Tayo, uh, um, Salem Tayo, and uh, and the Kerr, Ben Kerr. So there's a two group prove that, and they, their method is a, is a slightly different than others ours, and they of course they don't really. Um, I think for Richard Han, he only can show that. Uh, Maybe if we talk about MG Slim, it's MG Slim in Rich Hand's work is only real analytic. And in Tayo and Kerr's work is only uh, algebraic over C. So to, to get algebraic over Q, uh, you really need some method beyond the um, beyond Hodge theory. Okay, there's some questions then. Uh, Matt Kayo, yeah, sorry, thank you, yeah, okay. By the way, uh, Andrew just put a paper and archive, I mean, the, 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 the material I'm talking today is finished yesterday, it's not archived yet. So, but a preliminary version you can find from archive. Okay, so that, I made a mistake, this is Matt. Okay, now on uh, what's left, I'm gonna describe um, the, uh, the, so we had description of, uh, now we're in a description. Of MG slim. So this is something. There's a couple of ways to define that. If you know our Kelo theory very well, then you can define it by the following method. And uh, there, so the one way uh, for our health theory
So it the, what's going on is uh, article of theory defined by um, the following method. You can see from my paper. Um, 2010. So this heights. Um, so we only okay. Now we take the the take a C equals um, omega C over two G minus two. So we consider only this end. So then there is uh, a Hermitian. I mean, that maybe that right sense right, very clearly. There's a matrix line bundle, there's a matrix. Oh, error bar. Um, MG. This matrix is it's 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 not an ordinary. I mean, it has many metric. It's 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 identically matrix line. But basically, for each plus p, you have a metric. Mg such as that. Um, there's a there's a height, uh, size uh, for this very special uh, C here. The terrestrial size of the Kasai C. Terrestrial size of Kasai C. Is the band block height is the height for this line bundle at uh, a C. Okay, so C is the point. And uh, um, for I can, if you want, I can write on this uh, metro the line bundle clearly. And uh, but, it, but one point is that so this, uh, this C1 of C is a one one form. Mg of C, and this form was actually was studied, uh, discovered by um, by Richard Han uh, separately um, earlier, actually independently. And his method I couldn't write then uh, early, but um, but my uh, the point is my work is that I defined as as a arithmetic object. So Richard Han only defined as a different geometry object. object. So this is the form, and the, of course the form in this sense. So the form in this sense means that every every part it is a Hermitian um, pairing and a tangent space. So you can talk about um, the vanishing locus. So in particular, for example, you can talk about uh, the three G minus three. So this become a volume form. Uh, Mg. So there is a volume form. Not every, not a, not a positive everywhere. So you can define Mg uh, slim to be uh, the points uh, x of Mg C that this form. The right, um, okay, right, d mu, d mu at x equals zero. So this is the uh, degeneracy locus, this is the degeneracy locus of, of, of d mu, okay? And uh, from this definition, uh, you, you, you know it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a closed in real geometry. So this is a closed, in a real topology, complex topology. There's the one definition. Of course, if you really want to say, okay, I want to, I want to stand what, what the form is. I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I can give you a way to define that. To define this form, for example, um, this, this, this form, usually rather better, at least, uh, Uh, that's a uh, uh, Richard Han called this beta because Richard uh, Richard Han uh, wanted to so so called by extension. We use the beta too because we use the beta because can we connect to the Betty form? I can describe it later. <laughs> Somebody asked the equal distribution. Okay, later on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Quick so, comment. I, I mean, it should be beta was a function. I think something like i d. Oh, your function. You didn't call it. You didn't call the form. I'm sorry. 
Yes. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. You can call it whatever you like. You... Yeah. I mean, you might appear because we were connected to uh, the Betty map. So called a Betty form. Yeah. That, that, that's the young girl like to do that. So, so anyway, this comes from our Kellogg theory. Uh, so you construct a line bundle, the line bundle computer heights, the line bundle will have a curvature form. And then the vanishing locus is this sort of slim set. So this is one way to construct. Uh, other way to construct is from uh, the, uh, the Hodge theory. Oh, okay, okay. Now I have to say uh, theoretic closure, sorry. So there is a closure of this thing. So vanishing form, take a theoretic closure, you get the, the closer uh, subset, the MGC. As a Hodge theory, uh, one, what do you do is um, you use the foliations. Um, you have, um, as I just said that, okay, now we keep this, uh, this canonical differential form here. Then you have, uh, so you have this C of G here. I remember this MG. Then you have this, uh, uh, this Jacobian of this H, right? I write just a G, J here. Then uh, the Teresa cycle define a so-called normal function, or the new, I uh, follow uh, Dick's notation, so the normal function. Uh, the essential is the Jacobian map defined by Andre Weyer and Griffiths. Normal function associate to a uh, Teresa cycle. And, uh, uh, but this is Jacobian itself, right? And the Jacobian uh, is, a, is a complex torus. But if we only think about the real points, uh, the, uh, uh, is a complex torus. And locally, uh, isomorphic to, I mean, the, is a local system as a real torus. Because locally is nothing, just as I say, it's H of R mod H of Z. And uh, this guy is a local series. So, so this way, uh, you define a sort of foliation. Of F. Right, it's, a, it's F here. So then uh, if you have a normal map new here, then you uh, you define the foliation. So the new pullback of the foliation that defines a foliation on MG. And the, the pretty much same because I say this form beta I define there uh, if you read it from uh, Dick's paper, it's a pullback uh, of um, uh, uh, some canonical metric on uh, and the Jacobian, the by extension in his terminology. So, so then, uh, then we defined uh, mg um, f one. This is notation using by Zhang Gao is um, it can define any number. For example, I there is uh, is x inside mg, uh, then you compute the dimension of x of your foliation. Okay, the foliation you basically like like this stuff here. You have uh, all this in. You, you can see that the, uh, this foliation uh, is uh, greater than i. So this is uh, uh, the foliation. Uh, the beautiful part in is a theorem, but a bunch of people, uh, but all of them use X channel to show that MGF of I um, algebraic sub variety over C. And for our purpose, we only care I equals one. So we define MG slim equals uh, MGF of one, right, so that's the variety we're doing. And, uh, okay, so this is, uh, uh, and uh, so the main theorem, okay, so the theorem will be, uh, so that's a construction. Uh, before you go on, I yes. think there's a question in the, in the chat I'm not sure we've gotten to yet. 
um, about whether there's a natural measure in the moduli space so that this height induces, that the pairing induces an equidistribution type result. I'm sorry, have, have we answered? Yes, so this is the right height. Mm -hmm. and, okay, for equidistribution result, you need a, the equidistribution in Arakello theory say, if you have a bundle, which is a net and a big, right? And, uh, and in that case, you can talk about uh, equidistribution. But balanced block height pairing conjecturally is, is, um, is an F, but we don't know how to prove it. So now it's uh, pretty much too early to talk about, talk about equidistribution theory. Does this answer the question? Okay. So, okay, so this is uh, construction. Let me see how much time I have. Okay, uh, 20 minutes. Uh, any question before I continue? Okay, so, so the remark will, we say that is the following. So the remark is, so what it really proof? Uh, what what is really proof? What is really proved is the two things. The first thing is is mg selenium is not equal mg, right? So this is a, uh, as I say, you have three proofs. One is by Dick, other is by uh, Tai or Kerr. And the set of proof is given by Ziyang Gao and I. I think our proof is very, and I mean, second to proof basically in the same spirit. The second part is to show that MG slim uh, is uh, defined over, I mean, it's defined over, um, and MG slim is defined over, uh, it's C, it's algebraic, it's algebraic. Over C, that this is basically is X channel. So the define over Q is kind of surprising. So, um, so this is using neither needs article of theory. So maybe I have to in the twenty minutes, um, since the Xiang Gao is responsible for all the Hodge theory. I will talk a little bit about the, how our health theory was involved. Is that fine? Okay, so I will, um, I want to show their our health theory. So for our health theory, um, we prove one theorem. We defined uh, a volume. Okay, so I will talk about identity line bundles. I mean, before I do that, I mean, the, 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 so this uh, MG Slim is such a concrete variety. I really hope, you know, so, so the, uh, before I go into the lecture, the real problem right now is uh, the problem that described uh, um, and uh, find algebraic. Uh, direct description uh, M to slim. Uh, even for G equals three or four, right? We have no idea. And I, I think I think the work is very close. Um, his work is very close to describe this, uh, this M3 of slim. And but not exactly done, but I think this should be the main thing to do that. Also, as as I say in my theorem, you know, it's a the complements basically almost every point, all transcendental points, 
are non quotient basically um so you know it's a, it's a it's a behavior just like a normal height i think this is probably worth uh, a big study i just wondering you know if you can find examples there um if we can find a family of examples, the, the, the Teresa cycle trivial, there must be inside this M3 theorem. The, by the, by, by it, it's basically the consequence of the theorem. The identity line bundle is, is the following thing that if you have MG is not compact, so this is not compact. Of course, you can make a compactification, right? And we, we have the line bundle. This line bond has no way. I mean, there. I I think uh, many people are trying to. Um, this is a it's it's a bundle. It's a it's a bundle on MG, but it's not so nature uh, to get the bundle of MG bar there. And you can do it as a as a ticket uh, as a ticket doing. So it only can do for compact part for the compact curve. For general one, it's it's a very it's going to be complicated. So there's something called the the height jump or this kind of thing because of uh, it doesn't this this one does not really, doesn't naturally live uh, in on uh, uh, MG bar. Uh, in fact, it lives in a much bigger space. So I I write MG and the Riemann's risk space. It's called Riemann because Riemann is the first person. I mean, he doesn't specify clearly, but he's basically the first person to use the evaluation theory. So this basically all the compatibility by evaluations. So in the in the modern terminology, you should write on the project limit of of uh, X. So the MG inside X is a is a compatibility. Of course, this is not finite type. The compact variety, but not a uh, finite type. And uh, the L bar uh, lives in this space. What do you mean to live this space? Okay, I, I give you a meaning. This space mean that from this definition you have um, you have so-called model matrix. You have a you have a pick variety of X. Okay. And I usually tensor with a Q. And if you take a projected limit, then you can get the direct limit. Like all X here. So this is a, I, I can give a name called a pick. Okay, this is defined as a pick. MGRZ, I usually write as a model matrix. Because this, this metric comes from each of each compatibility. But here you can define a topology for the boundary topology. And the top, for example, what do you do? You can you can start with your M G inside um, M G bar. M G bar, for example, is M G, right? And and M G. Uh, join with the boundary divisor. So you can uh, talk about the sequence um, of line bundles. So if you, if you have sequence of line bundle here, so Lx is sequence of line bundle. And with uh, the same restriction, so, uh, so the, the restriction, when they restrict it, um, Lxi when restricted over um, of mg, suppose this is fixed. So in this way, uh, you can talk about difference of two one. The reason is uh, there's a projective system of compatibility uh, for two compatibility. You always can find the third compatibility you fix them. So. So you this this guy you, it's a measurable the O of some some device D I J so this is on the boundary. 
So then uh, I have this data here, so I can talk about data IJ I defined the norm to be, um, this will be a real number to the, okay, so in the Russian number, whatever, to be the, uh, the maximal uh, of, uh, of, uh, of R such that IJ plus data is, is uh, effective, or minus data IJ, I mean, that is a bundle. Uh, this is a R here. R here plus data is effective. So this is defined a topology on uh, this space. So then now we get to get a completion of the peak of MG Riemann's risk space at the model metric. And uh, then this give you a so-called idyllic matrix. Okay, so that's a uh, uh, way to do that. And of course, we need to study the intersection theory. Uh, there's a big space. For intersection theory, you must be really careful. What do we do? Um, we, uh, so it, okay, so you got a daily matrix. So let me write this thing called pick MG. I call it a uh, hat. And this is the completion, all this stuff here. So I, I drop this in. This is just the completion of pick MG. Are you there? So in the same theory, I will define a two subspace. Define a subspace called a pick of hat MG, uh, called a net. So this is a limit of net bundles. Then uh, the difference, so if L equals L1 minus L2, both them and net, this forms so-called integrable bundles. So finally, we get a big space pick of MG called the integral bundles. On this bundle, you can define intersection theory. Heights uh, or whatever, a, a usual algebraic geometry can, can play there. And algebraic, some algebraic geometry and the volume, many other things to do that. So this is, uh, uh, may, maybe ask wh why when you started the, um, the balance of block heights involve uh, the, uh, the many space. The reason is that, so um, for Teresa cycles, uh, the heights of Teresa cycles, um, Teresa cycles, it can be, it's, it's related to the narrow pedal heights in a very indirect way. And it's a bit of funny, but it's definitely, I mean, narrow to the heights. I should say the line bundles define this bundle and the line bundles define narrow to the heights, infinitely related. So, so there's a cycle has no relation with the point on the Jacobian, but their line bundles are related in by some very mysterious way. So I can describe the, what's the way to describe the relation between the Teresa bundle and the uh, narrow head uh, bundle. The, the, the relation between it's kind of strange. So you start with the curve C over uh, over complex number doesn't matter which number you're doing. Then uh, this, of course, you can make the Jacobian of C, right? As a, using this uh, omega divided by two g minus two, and then you double this thing. You double this thing here, right? Now here you have a Poincaré bundle. 
the right of the J, the J star with a boundary with we are bound here. Uh, this actually can be easily described. Now you make the family version. Right, you make a family version. So you get a bundle, this is a bundle, and this um, is a, the, the surface. So you can intersect, it could do fiber intersection. So usually we call it the Dilling theory. And then uh, you get a line bundle, the L will be uh, the G star P, G star P, G star P over the, the fiber over of MG. So this will become a line bundle on MG. Um, so the coverage of the form actually can be right on the same thing. It's also the, the integration of C1 over P so the power of the CG cross CG of MG. So in fact, so the, this is the, so the form I, I wrote before um, was appeared in a, a, a Dick's paper, it can be right on in such a explicit way. Okay, but, but, but this bound of the self, um, I mean, the, uh, for complex number, it's easy. You can you use the invariant metric. Uh, but to define uh, the, um, the identical metric, uh, you, there's no nature way to do that. So, to, so, so this, this gives you a relation between two bundles, right? I mean, the height, um, height of this bundle, of course, x, y, is a narrow tether height, right? Maybe the minus one, right? So the, the heights of this guy, uh, L will be, um, uh, of X will be the Teresa cycle. So this gives you uh, some funny relation between uh, the narrow tether heights and Teresa cycle uh, heights. It's complicated. And the reason I want to use in the Riemann's risk space other than the natural compatibility module curve, because the Poincare bundle does not live in, in the naturally uh, and abelian variety. Uh, the reason is that I know to define uh, the, the Poincare bundle, if you have a, if your abelian variety has a bad reduction, you say, for example, you take the something compatibility like a Toyota compatibility, but that compatibility only works for uh, a base. If you do base change, then you need to change your compatibility. So, so the better way, so the 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 construction of of a daily structure and abelian varieties. Uh, needs uh, uh, I mean needs uh, the compatibilications. So even for single abelian variety needed to embed into the A uh, Riemann's risk space. So that's the uh, I mean but th this part is slightly easier, but it still need uh, interactions. Okay, so so that's the reason. Um, so uh, let me, I don't know what the simplest example you can, you can think about it. Um, the typical example is that if you have a billion variety, if you want to define a narrow tether height, um, uh, you, you first take, for example, you take the okay, you take a one, you take a model, start with one model, then you have a bundle here. Then you, you it's just like a tether the algorithm. Then you raise into the two to the nth power. You pull back the bundle. It's it's, it's a two to the same. So anyway, so the the adelic structure can be defined 
using the bundle version. of Tetris algorithm. So the height of X is equal to, you know, remember the height of two to the N multiple four to the N, take a limit. Here it's the same, here it's a, in, the, in the bundle version, two to the N, you pull back something in the bundle, then you take the four to the N, the roots, you get L to the N. Then the limits of this guy, we are getting the, the canonical, a uh, narrow tether bundle. So that's okay. Maybe I should finish this uh, thing here. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So uh, we've had some wonderful questions during the talk. Are there any some more questions now? So, uh, Professor Chang, yeah, thank you for your talk. Uh, I have a question regarding your result about ng slim. So you said ng slim is defined over Q. Does that mean yes. also is that equivalent to say that the points? Okay, what can you say about points in ng slim with torsion of a Jacobi image? ng slim? ng slim is defined as uh, the union of positive foliations. Yes. So I think like because Kerr and Tyler's paper is about, it is not about NG Slim, it is about the subset in NG Slim with torsion of your Jacobi image. That is also algebraic. So I'm asking if that subset is equal to NG Slim or something else. I think it's the same. I think, I think, I mean, if we write a very, I forget the proof of the same method, must be same. If we take a serious closure of their paper, should be something like this. Because okay, I already so said... proved that for, okay, for MG ample, the complements, all the points are a non torsion. So, yes. So, okay. So, you mean like so everything and your slim has torsion of your Jacobi series of image? No, of course not. No, I cannot define. Um... Okay, I, I can only say. Okay, look about this theorem. I, I think if, I, if you want me to make a conjecture, I want to say MG slim is the largest crude subvariety such that, such that the highest inequality does not hold. Okay. Right? And this imply, this does not imply that much, you know, but M, the complement is very strong, meaning that every transcendental point uh, is non torsion. I see. Uh, this thing, okay. you still can have something because you, what's going on, you can, you can apply whole machinery to not to MG, to the sub variety MG. Then you will get completely, okay, so I maybe write one remark is every theory works for sub variety of MG instead of MG itself. Everything works. For some variety, S inside MG over Q bar, then you will get S, S ample and S slim by same definition. Uh, but but this, this S slim is not equal to S intersects MG slim because the foliation is a sub variety. Behavior is not necessarily the same behavior MG slim. For example, if you have a variety, you have if you have a foliation like that, right? This is a foliation, right? This is, a, mm -hmm. this is MG, right? Slim, right? Because suppose yep. the post foliation, if you have some variety like this, S, the hair has no foliation. This, this is like a properly intersects with foliation. Okay, yeah. so you can we can only say something generating positivity on non portion is in the complement rather than uh, the sub right itself. Right? So you can have an S like that. I mean that is a MG slim 
is the third seclusion of unions of, of uh, foliations, uh, leaves of positive dimension. Yeah. And uh, I, I forget to say anything why. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought I have time. I don't have time to describe why it is uh, this. Uh, um, so we can prove that the definition field of S slim is the same as the definition field of S. So for this part, you need to use our kind of theory. The reason is uh, the slim has something to do with the volume. The volume can be trans using our kind of theorem, you can translate to uh, algebra geometry. It's a content dimension of sections. So the purely algebra geometry. So then uh, that's the method that we prove uh, the, the rationality of the SSLM. Yeah, Sorry, I gave you a very long, long uh, explanation. Oh, that makes sense. There was a lot Basically, of the theory applies to any sub variety of, of, of MG, not only MG itself. Are there any other questions? Yeah, I have a question comment. It seems to me, you know, regarding the, was it the Riemann Zariski, this construction of PIC overall compactifications, what's that called? Um, identical metrics, identical line bundles. Yeah, so there, I mean, this height jumping, this, this seems to be the right setting for height jumping. So it seems if you yes. start out with HG plus four times the determinant of the Hodge bundle, and then yes. you can extend across co-dimension one, you know, um, this line bundle is a metrized line bundle, and that will yes. determine a particular point canonically determine a point in this that's associated with the Chiresa cycle. That Yes. So what, yeah. Um, so conceptually, this makes sense. So how can you sort of use that or, um, I mean, can you work on this? Yeah, uh, I mean, the whole point is not a, about the heights and points, because you, if you want to use the full power algebra geometry, you need to connect uh, the bundles. Uh, for example, when, when we work on the purely algebra geometry, with just a volume form, right? The volume form is a, is an analytic object. You hope to define something purely algebraic, right? Uh, the volume will contain just like uh, you know the net bundle, bigger bundle, contain the sections of, of line bundles. Right, so uh, for that part, um, you need the intersection theory. Once the intersection theory, um, then you be really careful what kind of limits you pick up. So that's why, um, let me see. Uh, when I pick up uh, this thing, I pick up very careful. I define a nef one to be the limits of nef bundle. So I I don't want. I, I know I have a, a, a concept of Cauchy sequence, but I don't want to take any limits. I only take the NEP bundles. After that, I can take a difference of them. Only on this space, uh, you can define uh, intersection theory. So basically, uh, the, the, okay, the bigger formula, we prove that the volume of a line bundle uh, this, uh, uh, in algebra geometry equals the volume of a line bundle uh, in complex geometry. In come this guy is nice. This guy is that doesn't depend your conjugation. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, maybe I uh, go to the next of the question is that uh, the the point of my work is different than your work is that I have a volume of L and algebraic value volume, and this will be equal to uh, the analytical volume. So this guy tell you uh, the degeneracy. of uh, the, the Betty map uh, and, and that's the young girl they call it. Your, your paper you called a D new or something like that. Uh, okay, so this is purely Hodge theoretic, but this is purely algebraic. So, so you can say that the volume, of course, L bar over SC uh, equals zero if and only if 
volume uh, R bar of uh, SC of equal zero for any set automorphism of C, right? And for these two parts, you get a connection SC and uh, SC sigma. So if one of them is degenerate, other than the degenerate too. So this is a, uh, give you a rationality of the MG slim. See, so that's you cannot prove it and uh, use the Hodge theory because uh, um, because you use algebraic uh, volume. Okay. Yeah, so that's only the addition to your work. So you have okay. we have an algebraic volume. So the volume in your work is purely uh, analytic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very nice. Thank you. Well, let's thank Shu again. And this was our last talk for the fall vantage. So we will resume again in January, 2025.